In this video, I'll go over how to add a video background to your WordPress website using WP Bakery and Video Background Pro. To get started, you'll want to make sure you have Video Background Pro and WP Bakery installed. Next, head over to the page that you want to edit. If you are on WordPress 5.0 or later, you may be using the Gutenberg Editor. If this is the case, you'll want to click the blue WP Bakery Page Builder button. Once we are on the original content editor, click the backend editor WP Bakery button to bring us to the page builder. The WP Bakery integration through Video Background Pro allows us to add a video background to any row element. To get started, let's add a row element to the page. From here, we'll want to click the pencil icon in the right corner to get to the row settings. These are all of the row settings for this specific row. As you can see, there are three tabs at the top, General, Design Options, and Video Background. We'll be using the Video Background tab specifically. Be sure not to enable a Video Background through the Video Background tab on the General settings. This is WP Bakery's built-in functionality. Once we click the Video Background tab, we can see all of the options that would normally be found in the shortcode and meta box. I'll add a few links for the MP4 file and WebM file and I'll also add a fallback image. Once I've configured the video background, I can save changes. Now we can take a look at the page. All right, as you can see, it barely appears here. This is because there is no content in the row. So let's go back and fix that. We can do this a couple of ways. First, let's add a custom heading and see how that looks. I'm gonna go ahead and align the text center and I'll make the text color white. All right, so we're heading in the right direction. Let's save that. All right, so as you can see, we see the video background playing with the text. Um, a little bit more spacing on the top and bottom will make it look much better though. Let's go back to the row settings and click on design options. From here, we can add padding on the top and bottom to give the row more spacing. You can specify this as pixels, EM, REM, or percentage. I'm going to give the row an 8 rem top and bottom padding. Let's save that and see how it looks. All right, this is looking really good. One last thing is to stretch that row out full width, and we can also do this easily through WP Bakery settings as well. If we go back to the row settings, the first option in general is the row stretch. If we toggle on the stretch row, save that. And there we go. We've successfully created a video background using the WP Bakery integration from Video Background Pro.